original Photoshop file that you use to make your GIF. Another way around it, which works but doesn't give you as high a resolution image, is to make a QuickTime movie of your GIF. To do that, start by opening up your GIF in a browser window. So if you open it in Google Classroom, that's a perfect way to do this. And then make sure that the GIF is running. Then go down or go to the Applications window, open up QuickTime, right click on it, and create new screen recording. When that happens, you're going to get a box that looks like this, but make sure, click this little down arrow and make sure that the microphone setting is to none. It might default to internal microphone. You don't want that on because it will record any sounds in the classroom on your QuickTime recording. So make sure that it's turned to none. Next, you're gonna click the red button and you'll get a little notice to record the whole screen, just click once. But if you only wanna record part of it, just drag a box around the part you want to record. So I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to pull a box around my GIF. Make sure that you adjust the box. Use these handles to adjust it so that you don't have any black showing. Next, you're going to click Start Recording. Let it run for approximately six times because you're going to want to show this repeatedly. Once it's converted to a movie file, it will no longer rotate or go through continuously. It will only stop for a little bit. When you're done, you're going to go up to this button at the top of your window, and you're just going to click Stop Recording. Then you're going to get a little preview of it. You can double check your preview by playing it and see how it works. Then when you're ready, you're going to click the red button and you're going to give your movie a title. And this one was the photo GIF. So I'm just going to call it photo GIF. Make sure you know where it's going. I'm just going to throw mine into the downloads for now. But you have folders on your desktop and click save. Then that GIF will be ready to use in iMovie.